Now the pucks are going to be these same wooden blocks that are used for demonstrating Newton's laws of motion. Newton's first law described the concept of inertia. Either objects at rest or objects in motion. The second law describes the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. Newton's third law is referred to as action-reaction. The blocks were cut out of 2 by 4s are about 5 inches long. I like this size, but it is possible to go much smaller. The blocks can be identified with pieces of colored paper, or they could be painted. The shooter block has a hole drilled in it. It has an eye hook that's screwed into it. To move it, rubber bands are attached to that recessed eye hook. This piece is also going to need a small catch plate on it. It can be held in place using some tape. Its raised edge can catch the block and push it forward. The other end of the rubber band is attached to a bar that's clamped down to the table. Scoring isn't done until all the blocks have been shot. You can make up your own rules or use tabletop shuffleboard scoring. This would be one point for blue, still one point for blue, two points for blue. The block that's further ahead gets the points and has to be all the way in the zone to get the higher number. This would be an example of a hanger and is worth four points. And of course, if it falls off the table, that's worth nothing. There are some other possibilities. For example, you can make targets by using masking tape on the table or a series of colored rings as a target, each one scoring higher as you get towards the center. Once again, scoring isn't done until all the blocks have been played. So that's how you play inertia shuffleboard. I hope it's something you'll chart for yourself. As always, I want to thank you for watching and come back and see us again. Okay, bye. Show me where it was.